Face off against the North Polars here from North High School on SCC Sports. My name is Alex Westad, all alone with you tonight as we broadcast this first place matchup featuring the Polars and the Simley Spartans. A matchup which last year was won by North in straight sets 25 21, 25 15, and 25 20. And certainly first place on the line tonight. Anything is possible here. You take a look there in the corner of the gymnasium here at North High School. There is Stephanie Blanda's North High Polar team as they are four and one. Their lone loss on the season coming at Hill Murray, an improved pioneer volleyball squad. Otherwise, their last time out on Tuesday against the Henry Sibley Warriors. They were a winner in three sets to none. The third time this season, which they have done that. For Stephanie Blanda, under her, under her eighth season as head coach of the North High Polars, making the state tournament for the first time in a contentious battle with the Stillwater Ponies in the section 4-3A final before finally being able to get past that hump of the Stillwater Ponies and qualify for the state tournament for the first time. On the Simley Spartan side of the thing, there's Mark Kashke coaching this 5-0 Simley Spartan squad, the first time that they have been 5-0 in quite a few number of years, a very talented squad, as both of these teams finished one and two in the Metro East a year ago, and the Spartans off to an impressive 5-0 start on the regular season with straight set wins a total of three times over opponents Hastings, Henry Sibley, and most recently in their last game on Tuesday at home in Invergirl Heights to the uh, South St. Paul Packers. Again, it looks like the Polars will be wearing red tonight. Our player to watch for the Polars is number 28, Ariel Carr, a transfer from Roseville, so had to sit out due to high school league rules a season ago. However, as you saw in our North Tartan broadcast last week, a very excellent outside hitter, certainly a player to watch on the side of the Polars tonight. On the team profiles, taking a look at these teams, very similar molds, very similar patterns for these two teams. Both, again, the Spartans 5-0 and out of the Metro East, the North High Polars 4-0. and Both perfect, the Polars 2-0 and at home on the regular season. And the Spartans, oh, as we got hit by a volleyball there. Hopefully that won't <laughs> affect us too bad. And the Spartans 2-0 and on the road. And against teams with a winning record, that's the difference between these two teams. The Polars 0-1. Having fell again to the Hill Murray Pioneers and the Spartans with the difference maker, the win over the uh, Hill Murray Pioneers in that time. Again, you also see three straight set victories for each team. Both will be looking for that here tonight. Other things to note, the North High Polars have not played five sets in a match this so far this year, whereas the Simley Spartans have played twice in a, a five set matchup again you see there they've won both of those five set matchups 50 30 to 24 they outscore opponents in that fifth set again a best of 15 best to 25 otherwise as james huss the pa announcer for many of the north high events is coming out to make the announcement again we'll probably get a national anthem at some point here tonight setting the starting lineups for you first for the simley spartans they will go naomi romslow they will also go Avery Renslow, Isabel Studer, Adriana Epps, John Donzo, and Abby Hepper as their starting lineup tonight. We are um, in light of COVID, and in case the season doesn't continue, we are honoring our solo senior, number seven, Ashley Jenner Rebelke. The lone senior on the North High. Polar team, that's Jenna Rebelke, the libero, as Stephanie Blanda had something, some kind words to say. And now we will have the national anthem, which we'll pause for in a moment. We'll talk a little bit more about something else that she had just referenced in just a few moments as you're home for Polar Volleyball.
national anthem played via recording tonight here at North High School. Again, due to the COVID-19 era in which we currently find ourselves, unfortunately unable to have a live singer in attendance here today. Again, senior night happening tonight for, again, the one senior for the North High Polars. That, again, General Rebelke, because North High School, in combination with Independent School District 622, has decided to move to a distance learning format effective on Monday. And as we've seen, the Minnesota High School League guidance is that when students are in a distance learning format, activities should not be recommended to proceed at that time. However, in a letter, the superintendent of Independent School District 622 said that activities would continue as far as was reasonable. And so since we have not heard any cancellations, otherwise we assume that the show will roll on. Starting lineup again tonight for the North High Polars in numerical order. They'll start with the senior libero, number seven, Jenna Rebelke, who's not the libero tonight. That'll be Mackenzie Kang, who will play the libero role. Danny Steckler gets the start as well for North High, following on with Mina Yenner, another addition to the um, to the Polar varsity starting lineup. Ella Melkin, Macy Weinman, and Ariel Carr round up the Polar Six on the court tonight for this Metro East Conference matchup. Again, lots of lots of debates, lots of important things to be able to see. And again, the one difference there in again the COVID era that we see instead of the traditional handshake line to start the game looked like just a general wave. Again, there's Mark Kashke, 15th season as head coach of the Simley Spartans. Again, 5-0 to start the season as the Spartans will head out to the court. They are wearing their road white jerseys tonight. The libero will be in blue when they get their substitution in. On the other side of the court, the Polars will be in the home red with the black libero. And subbing in as the libero, it will not be Mina Yenner to start. Instead, Mackenzie Kang the, will be wearing the libero's uniform tonight, and she will start in the middle. And on the Simley side of things, it'll be Bryn Rogers, the senior, the 5'3 senior, who will sub in and fill in the libero role wearing blue. Looks like Simley will get the start tonight. Again, you're looking for that white line all the way around the outside. That are the lines for the volleyball. Again, the flag officials on the far left corner and the near right corner. Rogers served across by Carr into the net, but dug out nicely there by Rebelki on the far side. Back to the Simley side of things where it can be set down off the hand of Carr. Somehow still stays up. It'll be played further again now for Studer. Studer going back across. Little touch play there off of Epps's hand. Onto the north high side. Dug by Rogers again. Going back across. Put down and the kill. The first one of the game goes the way of Chomp Dunso for the Spartans. So Danso with a very nice kill to start things here. one nothing. Simley serving. Rogers from the near side, sent across, dug by Carr, but it goes off of her hands and the first ace of the contest as that'll go Bryn Rogers' way. So two serving zero. As Rogers will serve in again, again the service rotation happens once the points slide one way over the other, if you are new to volleyball. Sent across, dug by Kang. Near side, Rebelke back in front, blocked down as it first went off the hands at time of Melkin and down off of a Spartan for another Simley kill. So a 3-0 rally to start the game here for the Simley Spartans who have outscored opponents 131-86 to in the first set so far this year. Great save by Rebelke. Kang tries to send it across and it can be gotten to again by Studer. Near side, ooh, too far and a point for the bowlers as Adriana F sent it past that white corner line and will be one serving three. Jenna Rebelke will serve to start. Rebelke in service, can be dug there into the net. Oh, almost keeping it alive. And so the ace that time for Rebelke, that'll be the first ace of the game for the Polars. As in on the play right near the net was Studer and Epps both. Rebelke again. Dug by Studer. Trying to get it back here. Libero sends it across. Kang able to dig for the Polars. Coming back near pin off the hand that time of Steckler. She tried to send it across. Back again for Epps to the back line. Kang with a nice dig. But into the net. And another point for the Spartans. So it looked like Kang was trying to get a little more elevation on that ball, but unfortunately, it just died straight down. So we'll have four serving two here in set number one, taking over in service is Lauren Tichito. 
as they will sub out John Benzo as well. Far pin going back there. Teeing it up there, and a nice little tip play off down low to the hand of Farr, as it was Naomi Rumslow with the kill. For the Simley Spartans, that's three kills on the day so far. Surface across again, dug by Carr. Rebelke to set far, pin takes far to go for that touch play again off the hand of Steckler, but a nice block right at the line. This is a combination of Epps and Rumslow, both who were able to get the block. And across to Cheeto. Rebelke, tip play there, defended well by the Spartans. Sending it across, good dig to keep alive on the third hit. Rebelke sends it to the back line, off of the hands. The Spartans unable to keep it alive though. Really nice play by Bryn Rogers just to keep it alive. Abby Hepper was unable to get over to it. And now the Polars will gain service. Danny Steckler. The 5'10 outside hitter to serve here for po the Polars. Three to six. They trail in set number one. Gotten to by Carr. Rebelke. Carr again will simply send it over. Can we gotten further here now for Tachigo. They try to get it out. Ooh, great dig that time by Rebelke. Sent here. Looking again for Epps. Epps too far past the line and the point going the way of North High School. So the Bowlers responding to the 3-0 rally that started the game for Simley with a little bit of a rally of their own. Steckler sends it across, can be dug here again by Rogers. They'll send it across, great play by Steckler. Your side, Carr with authority down. Ariel Carr with a beautiful kill. We'll have five serving six, first kill of the night for North High School. And Steckler will serve again. Studer on the dig. And across Epps with a little bit of a tip over. Kang looking to set. Steckler sends it too far out past the line. And a point here again for Simley. It'll be a substitution for the Spartans. As coming in to the game will be Molly Stein, who will serve. Stein will replace Epps on that left side near the pin. And the senior 5'6", Molly Stein to serve. Dug by Carr, Rebelke, looking for Carr again with a tip. Dug by Rogers on the other side for the Spartans. Back near side, nice little play just to keep it across. Played for right near the net. Dug again by Steckler, Rebelke, sent the cross off the hand. Another great dig on the other side by Rogers. Tapped over, still here on the Simley side. Near post looking for Kang back the other way for the Polars. Gotten to block off the hand. Nice block by Naomi Romzo off the shot from Macy Weinsman. Or Weinman rather, excuse me. For the Polars. And the Polars will regain service. Six serving seven. Back to serve. The outside hitter wearing the libero uniform. Today will be number four, Mackenzie Kang. A nice service sends across. Ooh. Great shot there, but just not quite on target by Isabella Studer. And so the score of the first set here even at one. Again, the two teams in their last matchup, straight set win and the first service error in the way of the Polaris comes to Mackenzie Kang. And so it will be eight serving seven. Substitution for Simley. Bryn Rogers will be out and will be replaced by Lauren Tichito again on the front line for the Spartans. Back to serve, Michaela Goldschmidt. Rebelke responded to, ooh, not quite on the line. As it was a good play by Nina Yenner, just a little bit too strong with the right hand. And no, they do say is polar point. And now they'll have a, a timeout and a conversation to talk about it here on the near side. Again, difficult to read lips too with the officials wearing the face masks. And so the point will go the way of the bowlers. And so Goldschmidt sub out, replaced by Rogers to the D libero again. The serve, Macy Weinman. Weinman, looking far pin, can be gotten to again, sent across. Again, this time, able to find that back corner on a nice serve, Isabel Studer with the kill. The fourth such kill of the game for Simley. Another substitution as Rogers will come out and Chomp Denso will be returning to the game. Serving now for Simley is the 5'11 senior Abby Hepler. 
into the net. Service error, a point for the Polars as Hepper's service error. First of the night for the Spartans. The Polars have won so far. Now our player to watch, Ariel Carr, nine serving nine, set number one. Dug there by Stein. Going back onto the far side, looking for Studer, dug by Carr. Back across, a little bit too strong there as Lena Yainer. With a very nice arm, a lot of power behind that arm, but not the angle she needed to get inside that line. And so that will be point for the Spartans. Subbing back in, Adriana Epps with Molly Stein coming out. Suter on service, sent it across. Can be gotten to again here. Steckler will send it across further. Going back near pin, looking for Epps in the line. Beautiful shot. Adriana Epps, 11 serving nine. For Epps, that's her first kill of the night. Five kills for the Spartans, 11 serving nine. We'll come back here to Isabella Studer, 5-7. Junior sent across, Carr. Rebelke, off of Steckler's hands, can be played further again here now by Rogers. Ooh, off the net that time, looked as though the angle was not quite right for Chomp Danso, and so a point for the Polars. Again, you certainly have to admire, as I'm sure Stephanie Blanda has done so as well, the amount of masks that are being worn by the Polars in the game. Of course, doing their best to make sure that sports can continue. Ep Barpin found it again. Beautiful shot, three kills now for Adriana Epps. She's been performing fantastically. Substitution for Simley as Goldschmitz is replaced by Romslow on the front line again. And the rotation resets as Bryn Rogers will serve for the second time here in set number one. 12 serving 10. Gone to there, Rebelke. Ooh, nice little play just to send it over. Going back near pin for Epps. Blocked at the line, but off the post, out of bounds. And the point will go the way of the Spartans. Adriana Epps has been doing wonderfully so far on that left side pin. Rogers, dug by Carr, Rebelke again, gotten to. They're able to keep it alive on the Simley side. Looking for Epps, not quite the power that time. Carr, Rebelke with a great job to save it. Can be sent over again though by Steckler. Back here, tip play in front, good dig. Steckler again, off the hands that time as the Spartans able to keep a nice rally alive. Rogers sends it across. Rebelke for Carr off the hands. Good play on the back line by Studer for the Spartans. Epps, good dig by Kang on the back line. Carr again. Ooh, great diving attempt here on the near side. Looking for Bryn Rogers, but unfortunately just off her hand just a little bit. And the point will go the way of North High School. The kill credited to Ariel Carr. That's two such kills on the night for her. Weinman has one on the court right now. And the service sent across. Donso with a nice dig from Rebelke. Kang sends it across on the third hit. Doing a great job to keep it alive. Carr off of Rogers again into the air. The whistle blows. And they rule that it was carried, I believe, the hand motion was. And so that will be a point in favor of the Spartans. Back into the game now for Simley doing service, Lauren Tichito. Tichito from the center of the court, dug by Kang on the service. Rebelke looking for Carr, Carr into the net and an attack error for the Polars. 14-11, Simley leads here set number one. One thing that I admire certainly about volleyball is the pace of it. No downtime, once one round is done, the next one starts immediately. Rebelke looking for Steckler near side. Ooh, collision between two of the Spartans, but they keep it alive. Third hit here now for Epps on the line. And there should have been a four hit call there, I believe. But either way, the point goes the way of the Polars. And so it'll be 12 serving 15 as the Polar rotation has restarted. Danny Steckler to serve now. Steckler, dug by Rogers. Sent across, blocked at the line by the Polars. Rebelke looking to reset for Kang. Airborne Steckler again. Ooh, great diving play made by Isabella Studer for the Spartans. Great block in the line by Carr, though. Send across. Epps again has four. Nice dig on that back line by Steckler. Looking for Carr again. Ooh, too strong. And a point for the Spartans. Simley 
playing some great defense, giving that back line, but the Polars have not been able to hit it with the success that the Simley Spartans have. Back into the game to serve now, Molly Stein for the Simley Spartans. Stein in service 12, being served by 16. Coming across there into the net on the attack error by Alamelka. And so we'll come back on the near side, 12. 17 serving 12, as Stein will serve once again for the Spartans. Stein, done by Steckler. Rebelke to set, to play. Oh, that's a beauty there. That is a beautiful teardrop kill that time by Macy Weinman. Just enough on it to make it drop like a tear straight down to the court. So we'll have 13 serving 17 here, set number one. Across from Kang, was dug by Stein. Tipped over again, good dig by Carr. Rebelke will send it back, gotten to again, where it can be sent over by Weinman. Near side, blocked at the line. Great play that time by Mina Yenner. Whistle blows, point is cruel as they rule that the ball was carried by the Spartans, and so the point will go the way of the North High Polars. Kang to serve again for the Polars, 14 serving 17. Big there by the Spartans. They try the tip play, unable to get it across though. Pepper, got it here again across on the other side for Kang. Knocked down, good dig here near side. Rogers sent up high this time for Studer, trying the back corner, but too far. And so another point here for the Polars who are rallying themselves. As we're rapidly reaching the end of set number one, 17. Being served now, 18. Was being served by 15 in the attack, the service error that time by Mackenzie Kang, a little bit too far. And so the Polars will have to play defense again on the service. To serve for Simley, Michaela Goldschmitz, the 5-3 freshman. Then across, Stackler, Rebelke. A little bit of a tip by Crate dig that time by Stein for the Spartans. Sent across on the third hit by Studer. Rebelke, for Carr, blocked at the line and a great play by Hepper. Your side, Studer again, blocked, and it was because of that block that the ball just lost all speed and fell at the feet of Ariel Carr. And so the kill for the Spartans, their eighth such kill of this opening set. It'll be 19 serving 15. Goldsmiths, dug by Kang. Rebelke again, looking for Carr. Took a little something off of that one. And here to the far pin for Studer off the hand of Kang. It was in play anyway. And the Spartans out to a five point lead here in this set number one. Ball will come back here under the near side. Where it can be served across again by Michaela Goldschmitz. Steckler, Rebelke. Looking to find it and goes high into the Raptors. The Raptors are in play and no Spartan was able to get to it. And so the Polar is able to get the point. Volleyball, probably the only sport that if the ball goes up into the Raptors, it doesn't really stop the play at all. In service across was Weinman. Good block on the shot by Studer. Rebelke looking for Weinman again. Dug there nicely by Stein. Blocked right into the net. Team block rule as it was Carr and Yenner combining, combining right at the net to get that block. And so the rally for the Polars continues. Weinman, dug nicely. Send across, oh, great directional awareness. What a kill by Avery Wenslow, who simply looked as though she was setting the ball over the other side of the court. Really nice play by Renslow. Kang on service with the dig. Weinsman dug back on the other side by Stein for the Spartans. Tipped across into the net. Whistle blows as they do rule as though, no, four hits are as what's called. And so the point will go the way of North High School. We'll have 18 serving 21 here in set number one. As we will wait for service from Carr. Dug by Rogers. Hooked to set on the far side that time as they try to get Studer. Unable to do so successfully though. Steckler, great play to try to keep it alive by Molly Stein. 
but the kill on the shot that time by Steckler is good. That'll be five kills on the night so far for North High School. And we'll have 19 serving 21. Par into the net and the service error, the third of the night for North High School goes by the wayside. Another substitution for Simley as Epps will come back in replacing Stein. And to serve for Simley will be number six, Isabella Studer. Rabalke for Carr across, dug by Rogers. Teed up here for Hepper. Ooh, nice little play by Danso to get it over across. Kang blocked to the line there by Renslow. Coming back near side, Steckler as the ball hits the post and they rule that the point goes in favor of the way as the ball actually comes this way. I'm gonna put my foot out to try to stop it. And there we go. And so we have 23 serving 19 here. Again, this is Abella Studer to serve. Dug by Weinman. Trying to keep it alive for Belke. Carr will send it across on the third hit. What a play. Ariel Carr, not really looking for a kill there, but was able to get one. That's her third kill of the night. Six kills for the Polars. We'll have 20 serving 23 here in set number one. Across. Dug by Studer. Looking here for Epps Farpan. Too strong. On the kill attempt that time by Adriana Epps. And so the Polars will continue to rally. Serving for North High, Mina Yenner, the five hit mid setter. Rogers looking to set near side for Donso. Good dig on the other end for the Polars. A little bit too strong though on the attempt across by Ravelki. And so this will be set point upcoming here for Simley as they start their third rotation in service as it'll be Bryn Rogers to serve. Bryn Rogers, the 5'3 senior. Rogers across, dug by Carr. Rebelke, tip play that time, and it's a good dig on the other end by Studer. Going back here near side, Donso. Dug by Kang, Rebelke looking to set Steckler. Good play though, right at the net by Donso. Set across on the third hit. Look to set Donso again, slam down! Beautiful play by Chomp Danso to end set number one and give the Simley Spartans the one set to none lead with the final of set number one being 25-21 in favor of the Spartans. We'll be back for set number two. This is your home for North High Polar Volleyball. Hi, I'm Anne Margaret. I went to Vietnam to entertain the troops in 1966 and 1968. My guys, my gentlemen, if you lived through the Vietnam War era, you know the impact that the war had. But today, we are in danger of history being lost. Current generations know very little about the war or the people who served as more of our Vietnam vets pass away each day, their stories are being lost to history. Together, we can change that. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund is the organization that built the wall. It works to ensure that future generations will understand the war's impact. Let's help keep the promise that the wall was built on. Never forget. Visit vvmf.org to find out how you can get involved. One set to none. The Simley Spartans lead the North High Polars after winning that first set by a score of 25-21. Here from North High School, I am Alex Westad for this Metro East Conference matchup. The Spartans entered with a record of 5-0, and oh, and the Polars entered with a record of 4-1. and one. So first place in the Metro East Conference on the line tonight. The last 10 matchups between North High and uh, Simley is dominated by North High School, winning nine of the last 10. The last Simley win coming in August of 2012. Highlights here from the opening half. Beautiful kill from the outside hitter, Ariel Carr. But the Spartans able to respond very nicely with Adriana Epps, who has been excellent with three kills so far today. 
Well, the dig by Kang can be sent across further with Carr again, another kill just off the hands of the outstretched Bryn Rogers. And then the last highlight again that ended the opening set, a beautiful kill, slammed down with authority by number 11, Champ Danso. As again, the coaches' conversation happens here with Stephanie Blanda and the North High Polars, again, all wearing their masks, socially distancing, when on the bench. Excellent things that we do like to see as they look to begin set number two. The North High Polars so far this season have trailed once after one set, and they fell to the Hillmary Pioneers in that, and the Simley Spartans have led four times after one, and they are 4-0 and oh in such contests. As you see the split, the split screen between the two coaches there. We'll have the libero substitutions as both players will come on in. And we will begin here again in set number two. One COVID change again that you may have noticed is that they do not switch sides as they used to, as the two teams will remain on their sides. So Jenna Rebelke will serve to start set number one, and she'll, or set number two rather, and she'll start with a service ace. The Polars had one ace in the first set, and she's able to get on the scoreboard here first. So one serving two, one serving zero here in set number two. Rogers keeping it alive for Epps as they go in. Oh, wow, just barely finding that back corner. As Adriana Epps able to get the kill. She's got four so far tonight. It's the first kill of the second set here for North, for Simley. As it'll be one serving one here. The rotation for Simley continues. It'll be Lauren Tachito to serve. One serving one here in set number two. The Spartans leading one sets to none. Send across, ooh, another kill. That's on Naomi Romslow on the kill. As again, the play at the lines has been excellent for Simley here tonight, two serving one. Kang watches it go a little bit too far, and that's a service error for the Simley Spartans, who had a relatively clean first set, only one service error in that set compared to three service errors on the other side for North St. Paul. In service now, Danny Steckler for the Polars. Steckler across, dug back to Cheeto. Looking to set there again, wow, what accuracy. Off the hand of Naomi Romslow with the kill. Three points for Simley, three kills so far in set number two. Substitution for Simley. Adriana Epps replaces Molly Stein, who will come back to the back line and will serve across here. Stein. No aces in that first set. Kang able to get the dig, but forget that ace here. And so we'll have four serving two now. As Molly Stein, the 5'6 senior to do service. Four serving two, set number two. Spartans lead one to nothing after winning that first set 25-21. Dug by Carr off the service by Stein. Looking to set there again, and the ball coming right to me and right under my legs. And so I'll go ahead and throw it across. And sure enough, there we go. Again, we're not used to being in the action as much as we are down here, but sure enough, we get involved. Mackenzie Kang to serve. It'll be three serving four here in set number two. Kang service across. Can be dug by Stein. Looking back to the far side for the arm of Studer. Rebelke looking to set for Carr. Dug by Studer nicely by the Simley Spartans. Studer far pin sent across. Great dig by Kang. Rebelke. Looking again for Weinman, who's able to keep it alive. Looking back here, up in the air. Far able to keep it alive. Great rally here between both teams. Weinman tried to push it across, unable to do so, as it was blocked at the line and fell straight down. And so another point on the board for Simley, as they lead set number two by a score of five to three. Michaela Goldschmidt, the five three freshman, back to serve. She had a kill in the first set. Sent across, ooh, and found the line. Great play by the Polars as they'll regain service, as it will be Mina Yenner on the kill. So we'll have four serving five. And it'll be Macy Weinman to serve for the Polars, wearing their home red, looking onto the near side. Stein sent across by Studer as they'll reset the three hits. Looking for Carr again. Carr! Wow, what a kill. <laughs> Time off the hand of Molly Stein. 
Beautiful kill that time for Ariel Carr. Four kills on the night. Wine will serve, five serving five here. Set number two, Simley leads one set to none. Block to the line as Carr tried to send it over, went back over the net. A great block by Ariel Carr, as that's five kills now for her. Two in set number two. We'll have six serving five. AC Weinman, the 5'9 five, five, hitter does service, six serving five. Back for Studer again, blocked to the line. Ravalki, Weinman, dug by Rogers for the Spartans. Back across, blocked to the line, still airborne, point in favor of the Polars. Four hits the call, and so we'll have seven serving five. Weinman to serve again, seven serving five. Second set, one to none. Simley leads this best of five. Back across, Suter able to send it, trying to dive for it was Danny Steckler, but she's unable to get it, and so Simley will serve again. And that's a kill for Isabel Studer. That's her third of the night coming back into the game for Simley. Chomp Danso returns, replacing Lawrence Cheeto. Sent across on service by Abby Hepper. Whistle blows, point in favor of Simley as they rule a polar lifted ball. And so seven serving seven here in set number two. Pepper to the back line to serve again. Dug by Kang. Carr keeps it alive, can be sent here again by Yenner. Stein to have it. Looking back here again for Donso, blocked at the line. This will be the third hit, Rebelki. No, it will be not. And a good play that time on the attempt. Unfortunately, too far, and the Spartans regain the 8-7 lead here in set number two. Abby Hepper to serve. Dug by Kang. Trying to keep it alive right near the net. Just blocked on the kill by Studer as it hit the hand of Rebelki in front. But it will go down as a kill for Isabella Studer, her fourth of the contest, the fourth kill of the game of the set, rather, for Simley. And we'll go back to the back line for Simley to serve again. Pepper goes off the net, and that's an ace. Second ace in the second set for the Spartans. As that will be the second ace of the contest for Abby Hepper. 10 serving seven. Doug there, there may be another service ace. Sure enough, there will be. Abby Hepper. Starting quite a rally here for the North, or for the Simley Spartans. As we'll have a substitution. As coming in now for North St. Paul, Brianna Vang will replace Ella Malkin. And so in service again on the near side, Abby Hepper. Dug by Weinman. Rebelke looking for Carr, able to be dug out again by Rogers. Back in the far side, Suter blocked at the line that time, tipped over. Back the other way by Mina Yenner. Looking for Studer again. Studer taking a little something off. Looking here for Carr. As it goes back here onto the near side. Great play that time to keep it alive. Rogers trying to send it over, but it won't have the gas to get there. And so a point for the Polars. Great rally by the Polars to keep that play alive after the changeup by Studer on the far pin. And a great job in order to regain service. Eight serving 11 now, set number two. Off the hands of Stein. And Ariel Carr says, well, why not? I'll take an ace of my own, thank you. And so that's her first of the game. So nine serving 11 here, set number two. Simley leads one sets to none, winning 25-21 first set. Carr, the service error. First of the second set for North High. And so service will return here to the Simley Spartans. There'll be a substitution. As Adriana Epps will come back in, replacing Molly Stein. And in service now, Isabella Studer. Set across. Rebelki will chip it there. Rogers, looking back far side for Epps again. Blocked to the line. Great play. Combined block for Jenna Rebelki and Mina Yenner. And so the bowlers will regain possession. It'll be 10 serving 12. Get a half of time. Volleyball and blocking at the line is so much of that timing and timing that jump perfectly. And Yenner and Rebelki have combined well tonight on that front line. 10 serving 12, dug by Studer. Looking again here to be sent across. Great block the line by Steckler. Keeping alive on the third hit. Gotten to again here by Simley. 
for Melke. Steckler tried to get it across, and I think it was off the hands of Rebelke in the first place. And so the Polars will play defense again. Another substitution for Simley as Naomi Romslow will come out. I'm sorry, I'll flip that around. Michaela Goldschmidt will come out. Naomi Romslow will come in. Rogers in service across 13, serving 10. Rebelke looking for the kill there, but a great dig that time by Abby Hepper. To the cross. And the ball. A little bit of miscommunication there from the Spartans as the ball falls between three of them, but that, that's okay. That does happen sometimes. And so they'll be 11, serving 13. Rebelke off of Rogers. Great play by Donso to get over to it. But unfortunately, that will go for an ace for Rebelke. And we'll have 12 serving 13 here in set number two. Rebelke across, dug by Rogers. Looking here near the pin for Epps. Great dig that time again. Into the air. Carr dug out. Back to it. Trying to keep it alive. Carr now looking for Rebelke again. Rogers returns. Back here again, Heffer. Looking for Epps, but into the net, the attack error. And they'll actually say four hits on that as the official on the near side. So set number two, even at 13. One to nothing, Simley leads, winning the first set 25 to 21. Tipped across, whistle blows. Point in favor of the Polars on the lift at the line by now, Naomi Romslow. And so we'll have 14 serving 13. This is the third lead of the second set for the Polars. Bit of a curve ball there off the service of Rebelke. At the line. Rebelke looking here again. Steckler. Ooh, great power off the hands of Danny Steckler. Isabella Studer tried to get the dig, but unable to do so. And timeout has been called. And the Sibley Spartans will take their first timeout, trailing set number two, 15 to 13, but leading overall one set to none. Again, we mentioned the last 10 matchups between these two teams in the Metro East Conference, dominated by North High School, winning nine of the last 10. The last win came three sets to one on the 28th of August, 2012. In fact, of the last 10 matchups, Simley has won a combined four sets coming into this one today and was shut out. Otherwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times. So straight set victories, seven out of the last 10 for North High School. That will not happen tonight as the Sibley Spartans already with one game to none advantage. Second set, second set statistics here for North St. Paul. Over the course of the regular season, 91 to 68 points in favor of North. Sibley on the other side, 118 to 85 points in favor of the Spartans. So both teams do great jobs when getting ahead. The only time that North has been outscored in a set is the fourth set. And that goes back to their combination with their last matchup against Hill Murray and the 3-2 win at Tartan just last week. Ball out of bounds there. It'll be a point in favor of Simley. Another substitution as Donsa will come out. And she'll be replaced by Lauren Tachita who will be back into the game to do surface on the back line for the Spartans. Tachito, send across, dug by Kang. Rebelke looking to set at the line off the hands, a little bit of a top spin on that ball. Can we gotten to again here? Ooh, great take on that far side by Rebelke. Steckler across, Bop at the line, and a point in favor of the Polars. That's a rule to deflection. And so we'll have 16 serving 14 here, set number two. Back to set and to serve Danny Steckler. To serve for the Polars. 16 serving 14. Dug by Rogers on service. On their far side. Epps with the kill. Unable to get it go. And the cross by Kang on the third hit. Near side. Looking again for the kill. Great play. Naomi Romslow with the kill for the Spartans. A beautiful play at the. Substitution again for Simley as the rotation will get back to the Molly, Sp Molly Stein spot and Adriana Epps will come out of the game. And so Molly Stein to serve. 15 serving 16 here, set number two. Carr on the dig. Rebelke keeps it alive. Carr can send it across. Coming back here on the near side. Heffer, dig, ooh, right at the hands of Steckler and the Spartans able to tie up. Set number two, 16 to 16. 
Spartans led the majority of the way in set number one. However, a lot more back and forth. Both teams each with two times having led in the second set. Stein service for Carr. Back across again, blocks the line, and a good kill that time by Ella Malkin. As she's able to send it down, 17 serving 16. As Malkin will take a seat again. And Mackenzie Kang to do service. 17 serving 16. Stein on the dig. Hepler blocked at the line by Carr. Great play. Back on the far side. A little bit too far. Able to go up into the rafters. Not quite what the bowlers were looking for there. As Isabella Studer sent it across. Steckler tried to keep it alive. Just a little bit too much on that ball. And a point in favor of Simley. Another substitution, pair of substitutions as Rogers and Romslow come out for the Spartans as Goldschmidt's to serve again. Rabalki looking for Yainer. Was able to send it across here again. Goldschmidt's. Hepler tipped back across there again. A little bit of a change up. Rabalki to send it across. Able to find the seam. And a great play by Jenna Rabalki able to send that one across. And so 18 serving 17. The ball coming right here near our broadcast position. Right on the court here at North High School. Decked out in red, white, and gray. Dug by Stein. Kept alive. Knocked over. Can we gotten to again here? Rebelke looking to set Yainer into the net. Good dig by Stein, though, for the Spartans. Sent back across. Whistle blows. Point for these bowlers. As four hits rule again. And so it'll be 19 serving 17. They see Weinman to serve again, 19 serving, 17, set number two. Simley leads one set to none. Hepler back across into the net, the attack error that time off of Isabella Studer, 20 to 17 serving now. And the whistle blows and another time out taken here, 20 to 17. The Polars lead in set number two. Again, both of these teams playing in class 3A, three classes in volleyball in the state of Minnesota. North High School playing out of section four. They were the champions a season ago, defeating their nemesis and arch rivals, the Stillwater Ponies, in that one. And for the Simley Spartans, they lost to the number one seed, the Egan Wildcats, in the section quarterfinals a year ago as the number eight seed, which odd that a number eight, eight seed would come in with an 18 and nine record, but that just shows you how talented that section 3-3-A is. Again, timeout's a minute long here. North High School, the state, uh, not the state championship, but the state qualifier a season ago was a very senior, old heavy team. Lauren Stemmen, the right setter, was part of the 2019 Class 3-A All-Tournament team, went to Lewis University. And number 10, the middle hitter, Giza Franco, playing for LaSalle now in the NCAA. Certainly good luck to both of those former pullers. Service across, Hepler able to knock it down. She'll get the kill here that time. And so she will go back to serve here. 20 serving 18. Again, apologies for our score bug as we have lost our graphics abilities here tonight. So we'll keep that um, set score in the bottom right corner for you as long as we are able. Hepler looking to set Studer again. Dug back by Steckler for the pullers. Rebelke looking for Carr to find a seam. She's able to do that. She'll dig it down, and the points going three in favor of the way of the bowlers. It will be Ariel Carr to serve. The 5'10 outside hitter, 21 serving 18 now. This Carr to send it across. Can be done by Stein. Bowlers seem to be looking for Stein on service. As it's sent across, the whistle blows, and they will rule the carry on Chomp Danso, and so 22-18 will be your score. Here in set number two, with the Spartans leading one set to none. Carr across off of Rogers for Hepler, looking to set Studer near pin. Dog back on the other side that time by Carr. Looking across, ooh, great kill attempt that time, but not quite strong enough for Mina Yenner. Play at the near pin, out of bounds, polar points. So a point for the Polars and a nice little three-point rally here for the red and black as it will be Ariel Carr to serve again. 23 to 18. Carr sent across, dug by Rogers. Hepler keeps it alive. Looking back for Stein who sends it across in the third hit. 
Kang for Rebelke looking for Yanner. Great play. Hits off and then bounces down. And the Polars get the point. It's on the save attempt by Hepler. Pepper, rather, excuse me. On the near side pin, it hit the curtain divider in the top of the gym and fell on the Simley side. Rogers on the set point into the net. The ace goes away. Four aces for the Polars in that set. And with a 25 to 18 second set, the Polars are able to level this one at one set apiece. We'll be back for the third set in a best of five. This is your home for Polar Volleyball. questions about the coronavirus? I'm here to share some simple steps you can take to help protect yourself and others. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Wash hands after touching commonly used items. Together, we can help slow the spread. Spartans won the first set 25-21. The Polars responded with a very nice 25-18 win in set number two in this first place showdown for first place in the Metro East Conference. The Simley Spartans entering with the record of 5-0 and the Polars entering with the record of 4-1. Here from North High School tonight, I am Alex Westeth and what's been a fantastic back and forth affair between these two schools. Ariel Carr leads in kills, or yeah, kills so far for the Polars with six so far in the contest. And on the other side for Simley on the board leading for the uh, Spartans is number six, Isabella Studer. Again, second set highlights. Again, you see a great kill there by Steckler. And then the service ace that time. Polders have been pretty strong on the aces as they've had five aces so far, four in that second set. Again, sent back across here. That's right into the line. That's the one that ended it. It was the service ace for Ariel Carr that ended that third set and allowed the Polders to even this up at one set apiece. So we're back here, North High School. Again, conversations as players start to realize that they are on camera, whether that be a good thing or not. And so await, we will await the start of set number three. Again, both teams, very good records. And tied after two sets, the North High Polar's 1-0. And the Simley Spartans 2-0 and oh this season. Again, thank you to our official statistician, Mr. David Schuyler, for looking up those stats and being able to share those with us on the broadcast here for you. The Liberos will substitute in as we await for the official parts. If you'd like to be a volunteer for Suburban Community Channels, help us with camera, video operating, or anything else that we might need in the truck. If it's a great uh, internship experience and a great way for you to be able to gain experience in the broadcasting field, Please email Arlen at arlen at scctv.org for more information. Simley will start to serve here in the third set. The rotations restart as well, as it'll be Bryn Rogers to serve the 5-3 senior defensive setter with five kills so far tonight for Simley. Sent across, dug nicely by Carr. Rebelke near side looking to be able to get that one across, but cannot quite do so. Blocked to the line that time was Romslow tried to send it across for the Spartans. Here's Epps, little shovel pass, trying to get that one over. Back across, Eckler trying to make the kill, not quite able to get to it. Great dig by Kang, hits the water pipe up on top and falls for a Simley point. Again, the 
features, I guess, of the roof and the ceiling here at the North High Gym all in play. So wherever the ball lands, it's where you got to play it. Rogers to serve again. One serving nothing here in this third set, even at one. Set the cross a little too far. The ball goes out of bounds that time. Ella Melkin trying to make the kill work. Unable to do so now, and we'll have two serving zero. That's Rogers to serve again. Bryn Rogers across. Dug that time on the third hit car. Studer for Hepper. Trying to get it across, but blocked at the line. A nice play that time by Ella Malkin, who was able to get it across. And so we'll have one serving two with Rabelki serving now for the Polars. Rabelki across, off the hands. Great play to get to it, but out of bounds. Pretty close to that line. Don't know if that was a play that she had needed to make, but it will be even at two. Again, head coach Stephanie Blanda providing coaching and assistance. Studer, Hepper. Looking for Epps again, blocked off the net, unable to get the dig on it though, as Carr and Rebelki both dive for it. And so we'll have three serving two. That's the sixth kill of the night for the Simley Spartans junior, Adriana Epps. Now three serving two across Carr, Rebelki. Looking near side, can be gotten to again, dug out by Studer. Epps on the third hit, dug by Kang. Rebelke looking for Steckler. Great block, athletic play by Naomi Romslow. And the point goes in favor of the Polars as it looked as though it was bounced out of bounds on the Simley, spot, Simley side. Danny Steckler to serve, three serving three. Big that time by Rogers. Looking for Epps off the plate, too strong as Epps was fed by Studer. Studer rather. And so four serving three as the Polars get their first lead here in this third set. As Danny Steckler, the outside hitter, will continue to serve. Studer, Hepper looking for Romslow, dug out by Rebelke there. Steckler into the net, the attack error unforced there. And so it'll be four serving four as the ball will go back in possession of Simley. The rotation means that Molly Stein will be back in, replacing Adriana Epps. And so Molly Stein, the senior, to serve. Four serving four. Here in set number three, one to one, the score. Dug by Kang. Going back there, Carr with a great block again by Romslow. But the hands just led that ball out of bounds, and so five will serve four. Substitution on the polar side as Malkin will come out. Nina Yenner will replace her. And Mackenzie Kang to serve. Kang. Done by Rogers at the net. Yenner with some accuracy on the back line. And she's able to get the kill for the Polars. For Yenner, that's kill number two. We'll have six serving four. And for the Polars, the second kill here of this third set. Kang across. Done that time by Tichito. Looking again for Studer. Studer has it go off the hands of Weinman blocking at the net. Carr, tip play across, kept alive, and a great play that time by Tichito. Yenner, Rebelki. Yenner again, blocked at the line and down. Another kill for Mina Yenner. Three kills so far for the Polars here in set number three, two for Yenner. And Kang in service, seven serving four. Hepper, cross for Studer. Great dig by Kang. Rebelki, nice play to keep it alive at the line. Pichito, Carr reaching over the top of the net. A right parallel too, rather, as reaching over it would be illegal in the rules of volleyball. And she's able to get the kill. Great play for Ariel Carr. That's eight kills on the night and another timeout taken. As we'll take the timeout here, eight serving four upcoming with the score even at one set to one. Third set statistics. Again, a lot of scoring for both of these, these teams in the third set. Simley, 122 to 89. They're point differential in the third set of play. And on the other side of things, as I'm sorting through my notes, and of course, paper with gloves on is not an ideal scenario, but hey, at least we're here, at least we're broadcasting. And so for these North St. Paul Polars, 101 to 76 here in this third set over the course of this regular season. 
COVID changes for volleyball for the, this academic school year and so long as it continues. Masks must be worn by student athletes who are not actively participating in practice or a match. The Polars have chosen to wear their masks during the game. Spartans have not, but that is okay according to the rules. Teams will remain on their side of the court and will not switch sides between sets. And home teams will select their side that they'd like to be on for the match. Face coverings are permissible on the court during play as you see the Polars wearing them. Teams should not huddle between points during the set. We've seen a pretty good job of that. And post-game handshakes may not occur as well. Eight serving four. But another service ace. Steckler on a roll here. For the North High Polars. As Stein will smile that off, making a great play to get to the ball. Kang in service, rather. Studer. Roger sends it across on the third hit. Dug by Yenner. Coming back here, near side, car, great dig by Rogers, up into the air, straight down. Studer sends it across, Yenner again. Rebelke sets for Yenner, great accuracy to find that seam. Mina Yenner with the kill. No, they say the point goes in favor of the Spartans. And so they rule in favor of the Spartans as they'll get the point. And Michaela Goldschmitz will come back in for Simley. So five serving nine here. Goldschmitz centered across. Carl is able to get to it, and that'll be another ace here for the Spartans. The first ace of this third set for the Simley Spartans. And so we'll have six serving nine. Goldschmitz sends it across. Rebelke able to keep it alive, trying to play back. Goldschmitz with the dig on the return. Knocked down by Yenner, straight down. And that will be the 10th point as Mina Yenner gets another kill. Five kills so far here for the North High Polars. Four for Yenner. Right in the middle of the front half of the court. A little bit of miscommunication there between Stein and Tachito on the back side for the Polars. As Weinman with the service ace. She'll serve again here, 11 serving six, one to one. In sets, Wyman across. Tachito the dig, unable to go, do it again, and this time another service ace for Weinman for the Polars. 12 serving six. That's two aces now for Weinman on the night. Weinman across, dug by Stein. Straight up, Tachito keeps it alive. Going back to the near pin, sent into the net. And the attack error that time by Isabella Studer will continue this polar rally. So 13 serving six. Macy Weinman, 5-9, to send it across. Dug by Stein, Hepper. Far side pin, looking for Studer, goes past and just barely found a seam there on that back line and stops the bleeding. For the Simley Spartans, they are able to get back onto the scoreboard. It'll be seven serving 13 here in set number three, and it'll be Abby Hepper to serve. Hepper across, dug by Weinman. Rebelke tips it over to the Simley side of things before Studer able to do the same. Yenner, dug by Stein. Hepper looking for Don, so great block at the line by Yenner. Out of bounds and a point for the Polars. Great team block again by Yenner and Carr, who have been so strong near the near pin. 14 serving seven. Carr, up by Stein. Hepper again, looking for Donso. Trying to find a seam, they dig it alive. Carr, Stein able to keep it down into the air on the third hit. Studer will send it across again. Weinman, Rebelke, ooh, and a great play by Rogers to keep that alive. Sent across, but the attack error into the net that time off of Avery Went Renslow. And a great block of the line as the polar rally continues. 15 serving seven, set number three, tied at one. Carr, dug by Rogers. Heffer, Stein calls for it, sends it across. Kang, for Rebelke, looking here again. Steckler, great block that time by Donso. Studer. Hit forward, now third hit here. Steckler able to find a seam, but a great dig there by Studer. Studer across, Kang on the dig. Steckler diving, great play and a great kill that time by Danny Steckler finding the seam between Stein and Rogers. 
to put that one away. There's a polar to lead now nine here in set number three, 16 to seven. Carr into the net, the service error. First of this third set for North High. They have four so far. This will be number five. And so the Polars will return to the defensive side of things. And now Isabella Studer to serve. Studer across. Dubbed by Weinman. Rebelki. But he is set. Ooh. Just a little bit too far out of bounds near the pin. On that near side for Abby Hepper. I'm sorry, not Abby Hepper. Danny Steckler. And so the Spartans able to get a point. Studer to serve again. Nine serving 16. Studer across, dug by Weinman, creating a little bit of a spin on that foul. Rebelki looking for par. Rogers digs on the other side. Hepper, Studer will send it across. Rebelki looking for Yainer. Great block to the line that time by Renslow. Coming back near side, Steckler and it back across. Rogers looking third hit for Epps. Little bit of a tip play and able to get the kill on that time was Adriana Epps. It's not always about the power right near the net. Sometimes it's about the accuracy. And a great play made that time by the junior Epps. 10 serving 16. Par on the dig. Ooh, great play by Rebelki able to find that angle. Find just enough of a seam and a kill for Rebelki. That's her first of the night. And so 17 will serve 10. Back to serve Mina Yenner for the North High Polars. Yenner across. Up by Studer. Rogers looking for Epps far pin. Off of the hands that time of Rebelki, and the point goes in favor of Simley. Substitutions here for Simley. As Naomi Ramsel will re-enter the game. And Rogers will serve as the Spartan service rotation resets. Bryn Rogers. Dug by Weinman. Hang. Looking again here, ooh, dig into the net. We'll see where this one falls. It falls in favor of the Polars as it goes right in front of Abby Hepper off of one of the basketball hoops. And down, it'll be Polar Point. 18 serving 11, set number three, Rebelki. Back for Hepper, looking for Donso in the near pin. Able to dig that out that time. Carr almost got to it, but it went right into the net. And so the Polars We'll play defense again. Another substitution as Donso comes out and will be replaced by Lawrence Cheeto. To Cheeto, the 5'6 junior, in service. Carr digs it out. Rebelki looking across. Ooh, wow, great play there. Ella Melkin with the kill. And for Melkin, that'll be the third of the contest for her. It's the seventh kill of this third set for North High School. So Steckler to serve. Rogers on the dig. Back on the far pin, able to get to it. There was Epps. Kang looking to set Carr. Carr, great team block by the Spartans near pin. Back across for Epps into the net. Service error, and the Polars will take the 20 to 12 lead here in set number three. And going back to serve again will be Danny Steckler. Steckler across. Dug by Studer. Heffer. Rogers calls for it, sends it across. Back here, near side. Carl, but what a great block by Naomi Ronslow. Oh, you have to be brave to block a shot like the one that Ariel Carr has, but a great play to get up, timed it perfectly. Got the block and the kill for the Simley Spartans. Back to serve, Molly Stein. Stein across with 13 serving, 20 here, set number three, one to one the score. Hepper, set to cross, Rebelki to dig, whistle blows as a lift called on the Rebelki set. So I have 14 serving, 20 now. Molly Stein to serve, stands middle of the court, Stein. Car on the dig, Rebelki set this time, Weinman with the change up. Looking back near pin, trying to tip it back over Carr again. Back here near side, Weinman trying to find the seam, can't. Rogers, one more hit, Studer sends it across. Carr on the dig. Looking to set it again here, Kang. Dug by Ticino. Sent across that time, ooh, good dig that time by the Polars to keep it alive. Carr, Pepper again, trying to set it down and finally able to do so. Naomi Romslow was there. 
She gets the kill for the Spartans. That's six kills on the night for her. Three in the second set does Simley have. And 15 serving 20. Across, gotten to by Steckler. Weinman, ooh, found the corner. Able to put it down. The kill for Macy Weinman. That's three kills on the night combined with two aces as Mina Yenner will come back in, replacing Ella Malkin. And Mackenzie Kang to serve for the North High Polars. Libero, a little bit too far on that one. A service error. It's the second service error of this third set. So the substitution now for the Spartans as Ramsel will come out and Goldschmidt will serve. Goldschmidt's across. Dug by Steckler. Rabalki looking for Carr near pin. Too strong. Out of bounds on the attack ever. And so 17 will serve 21 here in set number three. The freshman Goldschmidt's said to cross. Carr. Rabalki looking for Weinman. Weinman dug nicely that time by Goldschmidt's. For Studer across. Rabalki for Yanner. Yanner too strong. And the Polar's lead waning away. Now three here in this set. We'll have 18 serving 21. Goldsmiths. Dug by Steckler. Looking near side for Carr. Carr too far. Gotten to again by Stein. Studer. Sent across. Great dig by Steckler on the back line. Carr again. Down with power. Nice kill by Ariel Carr. Eight combined team kills in the third set. Nine on the night for Ariel Carr. 22-18. Here in set number three, tied at one. Service error though by Weinman will give possession right back. Three service errors here for the Polars in this third set. And so coming back to serve, be number 12, Abby Hepler. Hepler, excuse me. Knocked up, Carr trying to kill. Hepper looking for Studer. Great play by Carr to send it back across to the Simley side. Looking for Studer again. The team block does not work that time for the Polars as Yenner and Rebelki had combined at the line, but it falls on their side. And so the kill will go in favor of Studer. And so 20 serving 22 as the Polars have to defend this rally again. Rebelki. Yenner will send it across, and it will fall on their side, and the lead in the third set for the Polars is now won. As Abby Hepper comes back and will serve. 21 serving 22, third set. Hepper, dug by Weinman. Rabalki looking for Carr, blocked at the line, and they will rule in favor of the Polars. And so the Polars, I believe, will take their time out. 23-21, they lead set number three with the overall score being tied at one set apiece. Folks, we want to remind you to check out our other SCC shows, including Inside Healthcare. Your host, Jody Rataka, brings you this monthly show providing tips and up-to-date information on a variety of healthcare issues. Many of the show topics often relate to women's health. The show airs every Wednesday and Thursday at 6.30 p.m. on SCC Community, channel, Comcast Channel 19 or 801 in high definition. That's Inside Healthcare right here on SCC TV. The Polars have one set. The Spartans have one set. Simley won set number 125-21. North High School War one. Let <laughs> me say hi to our camera operator there. Excellent job using the cable to support him, of course. And so we'll have service again. This car here will serve 23-21, Polar's lead. Sent across, dug by Rogers. Pepper looking to set Studer on the far pin. She finds the angle and able to knock it down. Six kills on the evening for Isabella Studer, who comes back to serve. 22 serving 23. Again, you must win each set by two. So Studer across, led by Weinman. Rebelki for Yenner. Ooh, right at the hands of Abby Hepper. Not much she could have done with that. 
And so set point upcoming here for North High School. Nina Yenner will serve for the Polars wearing their home red, the libero in black. Simley in the road white wearing the libero in blue. Pepper sends it across, finds the seam. Polars were spread so far out that that seam was perfect right in the middle and a great awareness that time by Hepper to send that one across. That's her second kill of the night. And so Rogers will come back to serve. 23 serving 24, set number three. Rogers across. And by Carr. Rabalki keeps it alive. Steckler trying to send it back. Epps returns. Hepper locked to the line. They're keeping it alive and we're tied at 24. Polar lead was as many as 10 here in set number three, but the Spartans have surged back to tie it at 24. Bryn Rogers, the libero, here to serve. Sent across, dug by Carr. Rabalki, blocked to the line, and so this will be set point upcoming here for Simley as they lead 25 24. Whistle blows, and. There will be another timeout, and I think still, I think uh, North St. Paul will take it as it's 25-24. Again, win by two here in each set. And in set number three with the game tied at one set apiece. Taking a look at the last point here again, the one that got it there. Rogers did a great job of sending it across. Carr with an excellent dig. And Yenner again with such power right at that line. But that team blocking of Simley as it was done so, and Romslow combining at the net, able to knock that one over, and not much that Danny Steckler could do to knock that over. And so set point coming up here for Simley. Again, we'll take another look at it here, thanks to our port side camera operator. And again, you see there, not much Steckler could, could have done about that one. So Bryn Rogers will come back to serve at set point. As the horn sounds, the minute timer for timeouts has expired. 25 serving 24. Set point and to take the lead. Hang on the day. Rebelke knocks it across. Great play by Rogers to keep it alive. On the third hit, can be sent across here by Romslow. Rebelke into the net, service error, and the Spartans come back to win set number three. Methodical comeback by the Simley Spartans down at 10 in set number three to come back and take the two sets to one advantage. We'll be back for the fourth set. This is your home for Polar Volleyball on SCC Sports. Across the country, Millions of Americans are prescribed opioids for pain relief. Doctor-prescribed opioids are appropriate in some cases, but opioids just mask the pain. Potential side effects include nausea, constipation, and withdrawal symptoms. And according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, as many as 12% of patients prescribed opioids develop an opioid use disorder. When it comes to chronic pain, you have a choice. Don't just mask your pain with opioids. Treat it with the help of a physical therapist. Physical therapists treat pain through movement, hands-on care, and patient education. No warning labels required. And you get to actively participate in your care. Choose more movement and better health. Choose physical therapy. Well, if there was ever a textbook comeback for a set in volleyball, the Simley Spartans demonstrated it to perfection, being down 10 points in set number three, coming back to win that third set, 26-24, and taking the two sets to one advantage here in set number four. From North High School, I am Alex Westhead here tonight, broadcasting what's been a great matchup here again as we take a look at highlights from set number three. Really a great set where the Polars found themselves out in front early. But the Spartans never gave up. And a great rally by the Spartans, spearheaded by Isabella Studer and Adriana Epps on the far pin. 
before the combination of Rogers and Studer able to finish that one off and give them a great play ahead. Again, that's the one that ended it too. Great team block by Epps at the line. And that is how the Polars find themselves down two sets to one here over the Simley Spartans as we begin set number four. Again, to follow us on social media to find out where we will be broadcasting next, you can follow us on Twitter at SCCTV Sports. Or if you go to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, you can find us on Suburban Community Channels or SCC TV. Both of those searches will get you to us. Again, to find our schedule, our broadcasting schedule, where we'll be next, follow us on social media in order to be able to find those locations. Of course, those locations very much subject to change. We're scheduled to be at volleyball next week on Thursday as we'll be at White Bear Lake High School facing off against Creighton Durham Hall in girls volleyball action. And of course, the schedule of subject is very much subject to change as so much is in this year, 2020. Fourth set underway. Rogers digs the first service by Rebelke. Epps able to find the seam and the Spartans pick up right where they left off with a kill that time off of Adriana Epps, who's been so dangerous from that far side pin. One, nothing already. Serving now for Simley, Lauren Ticino. Ticino, dug by Kang. So keep it alive there, Rebelke comes back to get to it, sent across by Carr, break dig by Ticino on the other side. Epps looking for the kill. Gone to again by Rebelke on the dig, Kang. For Carr again, Tachito digs it out, responding for the Spartans. Epps with the touch play, unable to hold it in. And so the Polar is able to get their first point here of set number four. The Spartans won set number one, 25-21. The Polar's responded with a very nice second set, 25 to 18, before the come from behind third set win for the Simley Spartans, 26-24. Whistle blows, point in favor of the Polar's on the carry. And so the point will go in favor of North High as they'll lead this fourth set two points to one. Trailing overall two sets to one. And Steckler in service. Dug by Studer. Looking back there, none able to get to it as Naomi Romslow had it go over her hand as she was trying to just tip it across. Was unable to do so and the point goes in favor of North High School. Steckler. To serve for the Polars. Off the net, able to find a hole, get on in, and that'll be an ace for Steckler. That's the first service ace of this fourth set. That's the first of the night for Steckler as well, combined with six kills. Send across, dug by Studer. Back here again, Romslow trying to get it across. Ravelki making the save, dug by Tachito. Hepper sent across Epps, great dig again by Ravelki. Your side for Carr, who sends it across. At the line, Hepler reaching over, able to knock it down. Ariel Carr with the great awareness to get the hands arced and knock it down, but stay on her side of the net. 11 kills on the night for the junior Ariel Carr. High in the air, blocked at the line. Yainer as the whistle blows, four hits for the Spartans, and so the head coach of the Simley Spartans, Mark Kashke, does not like what he sees, and so he'll take a timeout with the Polars leading this fourth set six to one, and the Spartans leading two sets to one overall. Up next on the schedule for North High School, they'll have two road contests next week, as they'll go to South St. Paul, and then host Matamira on Friday at a time to be determined. Then their next home game will come on Tuesday, November the 10th against the Hill Murray Pioneers as they will look for retribution for their loss in the earlier part of the season. Meanwhile, on the other side for the Simley Spartans, they will have a series of three home contests coming up as they'll host Matamidi, Tartan, and Hastings coming up in the next few days. Of course, all that subject to change as schools navigate and try to work with the transitions that schools are beginning to make into the distance learning model and navigating, of course, high school league regulations and recommendations among that as well. Six to one in service. Pepper at the line. Romsel able to knock it down. 
And the Spartans have, have righted the ship for the time being. We'll have a substitution as Stein will come back in for Epps and Stein will do service. Molly Stein, the 5'6 senior setter, will serve from right in the middle. Stein across. Found Kang. Gotten to again here by Yenner, who sends it across. Stein, Hepper, looking to set Romslow, tip. Ooh, just hugged that part of the net, staying on the Simley side. Sent back across. Carr, Rebelke finds the seam and a kill for Jenna Rebelke. Rebelke with two kills on the evening, two aces as well for the lone senior on this North High squad. So hopefully next year for the Polars, when everything is back to normal, they will be able to find themselves in the state tournament conversation again. Carr dug up too far past Rebelke, and the point goes this time for the Simley Spartans. This will be a, another substitution as the Libero Rogers will come out, as will Romslow, and coming back in to serve will be Michaela Goldschmitz. Across, done by Carr, that'll go down as an ace for the freshman defensive setter. Michaela Goldschmitz. For Goldschmitz, her first ace on the evening. Will be the first ace of this fourth set for Simley. Send across Carr, trying to dig. Ooh, just barely found that line right on it. And so a point in favor of North High School. The eight serving four as Goldschmitz comes back out for Simley. Rogers back in. So Macy Weinman to serve. Weinman across, dug by Stein. Hepper. Ooh, trying to get it right down and was able to do so. Great kill that time. Avery Renslow. And the polar lead is five, three. Cheeto will come out. Donzo will come back in for the Spartans. And to serve, Abby Hepper. Hepper with two aces so far. Hepper across. Done by Kang. Rebelke looking to try to find and coming right this way again is the ball and it hits me and we'll get it back in. Hopefully somewhere. It's Rebelke with the kill. Or Melky, rather. Excuse me, I misheard the name as I was too busy trying to find where the ball was and protect our equipment. So Carr in service. Off the net. Good dig by Stein. Back across here from Rogers. He'll tee it up. Trying to knock it down. And great play on the ace. Melkin able to knock it down. Doubling the polar lead in this fourth set. 10 to 5. Five kills on the night for Melkin as the Polars have three so far here in this fourth set. Ten serving five. Carr off of Rogers, trying to keep it alive. Ooh, nice play. Good attempt that time by Isabella Studer, who got back to it but could not keep it in the field of play. And so 11 will serve five again. Carr on the back line. Sent across. Rogers on the dig. Hepper looking for Studer across. Carr able to get the dig again. And back across. Renslow back down into the net and then unintentionally. It looked as though the ball went into Chomp Danso's head off of Avery Renslow, and the point goes in the way of the Polars. Nice little rally here for Dor St. Paul. 12 serving five. Carr across into the net. Service error for the Polars. As that's their first one here in the fourth set. Epps back in, replacing Stein. And a total of eight service errors recorded by me for this. And so Studer on the dig. Gotten to again, looking there for Steckler. Great play. Unable to get to it, though, Rogers. And the point goes in favor of the Polars. As it was a nice play that time by Rogers just to get to the ball but unable to keep it on their field of play. Rogers with another great play again, and this time the ace goes away in the Polars, and they lead by eight. 14 serving six. Third ace of the game for Mackenzie Kang. Rogers on the dig for Hepper. Rogers calls for it, able to get to it again on that far side that time was Aubrey Yang entering the game, and another point for North St. Paul. 
As the ball fell at the feet, Mina Yenner with her sixth kill of the game, the fourth of this set for North High. Kang across, right at Epps. Looked as though it was a screaming line drive going right at Epps' face. Not a whole lot you can do with it there. So that's the fourth ace for Kang, third of this fourth set for the Polars. Rogers on the dig, whistle blows, and they'll rule a double hit called. So the Polars lead now 11, 17 to six, and another timeout taken by the Simley Spartans. As the Polar lead in this fourth set, 11, but as the Spartans showed in that third set, being down by 10, that they are not a team who's going to go away easily. As again, the Spartans won the first set, 25-21. Polars won the second set, 25-18. And then the Spartans came back from down 10, 26-24, to take that third set. And now the Polars lead 17-6 here in set number four, in this best of five. Take a look at this great play here. Mina Yenner able to send it right down. And again, so much of volleyball is timing the jump perfectly at the net to try to make something happen. And unfortunately, on that time for the Spartans, who have been so crisp on their timing so far today, not quite able to get that ball over. We have 17-76. Mackenzie Kang, whose sister plays volleyball for Augsburg University out of the Mayak. Certainly, Mackenzie may be headed there as well. Fought for right at the net. Sent across by Renslow. Chance here now. Oh, great play by Yenner. Ooh, the Spartans wanted the carry. They won't quite get it that time. Seven kills now for Yenner. And so 18 serving six now as the Polars have triple upped the Spartans here on this one. Great play by Studer. Rogers whistle blows and a double hit called again by the official in the high stand. So the rally continues here for North St. Paul. 19 serving six, fourth set, 2-1 Spartans lead. Rogers keeps it alive after the dig by Studer. Epps will send it back across. Yang looking back your near side. Steckler down, great play by Epps to keep it alive for the Spartans. Studler with a great dig. Gone to again, Rebelke. Ooh, and another kill that time for Mina Yenner as it goes off the hands that time of the diving. Abby Hepper, who you see on your screen. And the rally continues. Eight kills for Yenner so far tonight. That's going to be 6-7-0 no, in the set here for North St. Paul. Rebelke back here again. Steckler tried to drop it in there. Unable to do so, though. Back down, dug by Yenner. Back again, as we've seen a couple of times, the miscommunication from the Spartans when the ball is in between three or four and nobody calls for it. So Kang continues her rally, 21 serving six with a service error into the net. The second of what's been a dominant fourth set here for North High School. And so there'll be seven serving 21 as the substitution happens for the Spartans as Romslow will come back in, replacing the freshman Goldschmitz and Rogers sends it across. On the ace that time for Rogers, it's actually how they started their run in the third set was Rogers coming in and slowing down the pace and really making some excellent serves, as she'll do again here. Car on the dig. Rebelke, Yenner can be dug that time by Studer. Looking for Epps again. Great dig by Carr on the other side for the Polars. Steckler across, great dig again by Studer. Epps on the third hit into the net. Attack error for the Spartans. And the Polars three points away from forcing that fifth set. Back to serve as the service restarts for Jenna Rebelke. Sent across. Doug again. Great block the line. Team block at that. Rogers looking for Epps far pin. Able to got to there by Rebelke first, then off the hand of Yenner, but unable to keep it in play. And so we'll have another substitution coming in here. Cheeto back into the game for Simley. It'll be nine serving 22. Spartans lead two to one in his best of five sets. Yenner down and able to get 
the kill there. It was a great job of getting the dig that time from Rogers, but I believe it hit off the foot of Isabella Studer. And so we'll have 23 serving nine. Steckler dug by Rogers. Got to again by Tachito. Epps will send it to the back line where Steckler's there. Looking back your near side for Carr. Could not find the seam on that back corner out of bounds. And another point for the Spartans. Substitution again as the Epps Stein rotation continues. And so Molly Stein will serve again for the Spartans. And serving 23. Stein, dug by Carr. Airborne, hugged the net. And will go out of bounds and another point here for Simley. So we'll have 11 serving 23 here in this fourth set. Simley leads two sets to one. First place in the Metro East Conference on the line. Molly Stein. Kang able to dig. Rebelke looking for Carr on the tip. Able to keep it alive. Kang keeps it for the third hit. Knocked down. Great dig by Stein. Hepler sent it across. Good dig in response to the net. Looking far pin for Weinman. Keeping it alive that time though, Rebelke. Rogers digs. Blocked at the line. Falls in front of the feet of Abby Hepler. And it'll be set point here for the Polars. Mina Yenner on the kill. It's nine kills so far in this set. 10 on the evening for Yenner. She'll serve the set point, 24-11. Going out of bounds, unable to get to it again. And the fourth set goes the way of the North High Polars as we will head to the fifth set. With both teams trading the first four, somebody will walk away a winner after the 15.5th set. And again, they will flip the coin to see who will start with service in the fourth set. We'll be back for that fifth set in just a moment. This is your home for Polar Volleyball on SEC Sports. Across the country, millions of Americans are prescribed opioids for pain relief. Doctor-prescribed opioids are appropriate in some cases, but opioids just mask the pain. Potential side effects include nausea, constipation, and withdrawal symptoms. And according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, as many as 12% of patients prescribed opioids develop an opioid use disorder. When it comes to chronic pain, you have a choice. Don't just mask your pain with opioids. Treat it with the help of a physical therapist. Physical therapists treat pain through movement, hands-on care, and patient education. No warning labels required. And you get to actively participate in your care. Choose more movement and better health. Choose physical therapy. Both teams have traded the first four sets, and so we head to the fifth set between the Polars and the Simley Spartans here at North High School. My name is Alex West, and I'm pleased to be joining you for this volleyball contest here tonight. Senior night, one senior recognized, the only senior for the North Polars. That is number seven, Jenna Rebelke. And again, as we take a look here at highlights from that fourth set, a dominant set by the Polars as they won 25 to 11. Great play at the line and the rally spearheaded by Mackenzie Kang really allowed for the Polars to gain that advantage and really run away with that set. But again, the blocking of Naomi Romslo so strong throughout much of that fourth set and throughout most of the game as well. It's been great and it's been excellent. And so, so far, we head to this decisive fifth set. The fifth set different from the first four in that it is played to 15 and you must win by two. The Polars have not played a fifth set th yet this year as this will be their first time playing to five. The Spartans with three two victories, so they have played twice in fifth set decisions, winning at Tartan and at Hill Murray. So perfect on the road in five sets so far this year are the Simley Spartans. And this again, the first five set venture for the North High Polars this year as it begins now.
as I have been reminded in my ear just now. It would appear as though North and Tarn played five sets, but as I was looking at the stats, no score was recorded for that, which is unfortunate because I made a statistical error, so I apologize for that. Simley will serve uh, to start here in the fifth set. Again, it's a coin toss to see who serves in set number five. Bryn Rogers serves across, stuck by Carr. Rebelke keeping alive as they play right near the near pin. Sent back across, dug by Studer. Looking back here again, Epps trying to find that back seam, is able to find it, and the Spartans take the one to nothing lead to start here in this fifth set. Great kill by Aria Adriana Epps. And she has nine kills so far in this one, and the ball will come back to Rogers again near side, one serving zero in the fifth set. Rogers set across, dug by Carr. Rebelke. Looking to set Steckler, who forces it across, up into the air and down as Carr and Steckler collided and almost appeared a little hesitant in fear of friendly fire. And so two serving zero will appear now. And so Bryn Rogers to serve again, two serving zero. Up by Weinman for Rebelke. Carr across, great dig by Studer. Pepper looking for Epps who punches the ball into the air. Rebelke back across. Yainer off the hands of the front line. And out of bounds, and so one serving two. As Jenna Rebelke will look to start this rally. Back the other way. Out of bounds. And it just barely found that perfect hole. And so three aces so far for Rebelke. It'll be two serving two. Rebelke serves across, dug by Studer. Coming back near side, can be knocked down right into the air. And it'll be another point for the Polars as they take the three to two lead in this set. Three serving two. Rebelke. Rogers able to get the dig on. Back across from Studer. Kept alive, Yenner down right back this way again. And it goes way, way the heck out of bounds. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to move to go and get that one. But a really nice play that time made by the pullers. As it's Mina Yenner getting 12 kills now. And so we'll have four serving two. In the decisive fifth set, again, the pullers have won five set venture this year. Simley with two, both on the road. Coming back near side, great save by Kang, trying to send it across, played right back at the net. Epps will send it over and the pullers can reset. Kang for Weinman. Rogers able to dig it back out. Pepper looking again, blocked at the line and back down. Naomi Romslow with the kill for the Spartans. So we'll have another substitution here as Pichita will come back in. Replacing Chomp Danso. And Tichito to serve. Sent across, led by Carr. Rebelke, looking again here. Yenner blocked to the line. Very nice play that time by Naomi Ronslow. Back here, Epps. Kang on the dig on the other side for the Polars. Sent back here again, Steckler, nice play. Carr able to get to it, blocked at the line and down. And the Spartans have tied set number five. The kill this time going to Adriana Epps. That's 10 kills on the night. And service across to Cheeto. Dug by Carr, Rebelke. Looking back far side, tip play kept alive as it can be gotten to again. Sent back across, Kang, Rebelke. Yenner back down here. We're gonna make a play. No, we're not, okay. <laughs> it's right into our box and unfortunately out of play, but the Polars able to get to it. And another kill that time by Mina Yenner as we'll have five serving four in this fifth set. There's one thing I wish from the night that we, we'd be able to actually make a play on the ball, but unfortunately everything's been bouncing into our equipment so far. Service into the net and takes a fortunate polar roll as it falls at the feet. That'll be another ace on service for Danny Steckler as the polars have been very strong on the aces tonight. Dug by Rogers. Pepper looking for Epps back across. 
Rabelke. Kang able to get to it, kept alive by Carr as he'll send it onto the polar on the Spartan side. Epps again. Off the hands of time of Steckler, keeping it alive in play. And they will rule that it was out of bounds when it was touched. And so that'll be a point in favor of the Simley Spartans. Five serving six. Stein substitutes back in for Epps. Across. Dug by Carr. Rebelke looking for Carr again. Down. Great dig by Stein. Back again here. Studer. Held in the air. Carr back down. Another great dig by Studer. Cheeto for Stein. Kang returns for the Polars. Rebelke for Yanner blocked at the line. Hepper. Seckler gets back to it for the Polars. Sent back across. Rogers with an athletic play to get over to it. Studer. Rebelke responds for the Polars. Carr again, too strong. And the athletic play of Bryn Rogers getting over to make that play ties the fifth set at six. Molly Stein to serve, six serving six. First place in the Metro East Conference on the line. Stein across, and a service error goes in favor of the Polars as they'll regain the one point lead. Kang out. Melkin back in for the Polars. Mina Yenner to serve. Hepper. So they got to again, and the kill that time falls for Naomi Romslow with eight kills on the night for the Spartans, and we're tied at seven once again. Freshman Michaela Goldschmidt's coming back in to serve as Romslow will take a seat. Goldschmidt's across into the net, and the attack error goes in favor of the Polars again. 15-year head coach Mark Kaschke of the Simley Spartans, 5-0 record. As the Spartans continue to go back and forth, much as this match has been. Far pin, Studer, dug by Carr, Rebelke looking to set Carr again. Great dig by Stein on the far side. Stein able to not get to that one, though, as Carr knocks it straight down for the kill. 13 kills on the night for Ariel Carr. Nine serving seven. We'll have a timeout and a substitution in favor, and a timeout, rather, in favor of the Simley Spartans. So nine serving seven here, fifth set. The Spartans won the first and third sets. The Polars won the second and the fourth, with the Polars leading this fifth set nine to seven. As we take a look at the last play here again, really some athletic plays being made by both of these teams. Great dig by Carr there to set that one up, and then the kill just right down. Better dig, too, from Stein, and then right off the hands that time of Abby Hepper. And that gives the Polars the nine to seven lead here in this fifth set. Again, our broadcast schedule coming up tentatively. Next week will be at White Bear Lake High School as the Bears take on the Creighton Durham Hall. Raiders will have football for you again on November the 12th with the Section 4-5A rematch of Tartan and Matamidi. So certainly lots of sports that we're looking forward to bringing you on the calendar ahead. We certainly hope that you'll join us in whatever way possible. Rogers on service from Weinman. Hepper tipped over that time by Renslow. Knocked back into the air, bound four right at the net. Still kept alive, looking for that third hit. Studer sent it across and down. Lead cut to one for the Polars. Seven kills on the night for the junior Isabella Studer. And so Abby Hepper will serve. Eight serving nine as, as Chomp Danso comes back in. Dug by Yang. Rebelke, Carr, perfect. Down the seam. 10 to serve, eight now. And again, we've seen how dominant Ariel Carr has been tonight, 14 kills, and just perfectly finding that seam on the back line. The kind of talent that you just can't teach. 10 serving eight, fifth set. Rogers on the dig on the return from Carr. Into the net, whistle blows. And it'll be a carry that's called against Simley as they'll lead 11 to 8. Car back to serve again for the Polars. 11 serving 8. Car 
Dug by Rogers. Set by Hepper, across for the kill. Two, no, it did find that back corner. Great play again by Isabella Studer. Nine to serve eight, as Studer will go back to serve. Epps back into the game, replacing Stein. Nine serving 11. Dug by Yang. Rebelke looking here again for Steckler. Epps with the dig back on the far side. Epps off the net, out of bounds, and they will rule Simley point. So 10 serving 11 now. As Studer will go back to serve again. Silence falls over the gym. Conversation occurs between the officials in the field of play. Again, you see there in the official's hand the orange fishtail whistle. That's an official's whistle that they can use so as not to have to remove their face masks to blow the whistle. Works in this space, not so much in others, as it's a little bit quiet, I've found. The 10 serves 11. Ooh, wow, what a powerful shot there from Danny Steckler as the Polars take the 12 to 10 lead. Steckler, seven kills on the night for the Polars. And Mackenzie Kang who started a really long rally for the Polars in the fourth set, able to try to start one here again. Epps across in the third hit, but won't even get it there, as it's an attack error that will go underneath the net, and we're gonna have another timeout called in favor of the Sinley Spartans as they trail in this third set, in this fifth set, rather, 13 to 10. Again, the Polars will travel on the road coming up here next week. On Wednesday, they'll face off at South St. Paul. On Friday, they'll face off at Matamita before returning home on Tuesday the 10th against Hill Murray. And on the other side of things for the Simley Spartans, three more home matches coming up here. Wednesday the 4th against Matamita, November the 7th against Tartan, and November the 10th against Hastings. And again, what's been a fantastic back and forth match here between the top two teams in the Metro East Conference. As Mackenzie Kang to do service, 13 serving, 10 fifth set, tied at two. Kang across, dug by Studer. Hepper looking for Epps far pin, blocked at the line and straight down at the feet of Mina Yenner. And the point goes in favor of the Spartans. Another substitution here for Simley as Goldschmidt will come out, Romsel will come back in. Rogers to serve. Dug by Kang. Rebelke looking to set Steckler. Great block. Carr able to keep it alive for the Polars. Sent back across. Studer with a dig. Wow. Back across again. Blocked at the line. Yenner down at the feet. That time of Naomi Romsel and game point upcoming for the Polars. Athletic play by Ariel Carr to keep that ball alive before Yenner able to send it down. 14 kills on the night for Mina Yenner. Rogers on the dig across. Hepper for Epps, looking too far, but in. Wow, right on that corner line. Tough to see that white line on the far side from our vantage point, but the ball remains in, so 12 serving 14. Lauren Tichito to serve now for the Polars, or for the Spartans, rather. Tichito across, dug by Carr. Knocked back down, good play by Naomi Romslow, taking matters into her own hands, using the tips of the fingers to knock that one on down. So Tichito to serve. 13 serving, 14, again, must win by two. Game point two for the Polars. Tichito served, dug by Kang. Rebelke for Yenner, down, and the Polars win! Mina Yenner with the game ending kill. She'll wrap with 15 kills on the night for the Polars. And a back and forth contest ends in favor of the ladies in red and black tonight by a final of three sets to two. What a fantastic contest you see here. This wonderful crowd again, capacity limited due to Minnesota State High School League standards and Minnesota Department of Education standards as well. Treated to an entertaining matchup between these two squads who exchanged the first four sets before the Polars able to take away and win set number five. We hope that you've enjoyed this broadcast tonight. We'll see you again for volleyball next week. 
Again, the poll is victorious by a final of three to two for Arlen Becker, David Schuyler, and our entire SCC production crew. We want to thank you for watching tonight's game. This is your home for polar volleyball. It's SCC Sports.